All right, y'all. So we setting up for Cali Cat's first birthday. She's having a Alice in Wonderland thing. I've never seen the movie, but we're taking Ashley's direction on how it's supposed to look. So we set up the guest tables. We're going to be working on the backdrop in the dessert table. Those are where the food is going to go. And then the kitty tables are over there. They're bringing in the chairs now. So yeah, this is where we are. And I'll show you how far we get tonight. The party's tomorrow at 2. Alright y'all, so they're doing the dessert table now in the backdrop. I did these paper flowers over here. I literally still have paper flower PTSD from when Brittany had Harris and we made a thousand of these. We set the tables. These are the centerpieces. They're actually real teapots. They have a key and a pocket watch, a butterfly. I've never actually seen the Alice in Wonderland movie, but it goes with the movie. This is her custom napkin. So it's in Callie's Wonderland and her birthday. The food is going to go over here. They hung up some stuff there. And then we set the kitty table for the tea party. This is going to be like some type of golfing hey, hey, game hey, or some croquette, hey, croquette hey, or something. Hey, That's the Mad Hatter. Here you go. Very really cute. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. Today is January the 15th. It's my niece's first birthday and I wanted to show you what I grabbed from the stores today from her for her um, birthday. I went to Burlington, Ross, and Marshalls. And right now Marshalls is having their end of the season or end of the year clearance um, event where everything is marked down with the yellow tag clearance. And it is amazing. So I'm going to start with the Marshalls stuff and then I'll show you the Ross and the Burlington stuff as well. First of all, for Marshalls, I had to get her a card. So I got her that. And then this is all her Marshalls stuff i did get baby girl some things as well so i'll show you that but really really cute stuff you guys and dirt cheap okay the first thing and this was full price but i thought this was cute for valentine's day and her mom's birthday is on valentine's day so this was 11 dollars by isaac mizrahi really really cute if i was thinking i would have got her sister brooke one too i don't know if they had her size though but they had this um jumpsuit here really cute summertime we're trying to stock her up for the spring and summer because she's the only winter baby so she's not in line with the seasons and the sizes of girl clothes that we have so we're trying to stock her up for the spring and summer so we got 18 months and this one has a matching headband this was marked down to eight dollars and it's by jessica simpson so i got her that this could be for the springtime because it does have a hoodie but i love the colors and it also has um some matching leggings this was marked down to eight dollars so i thought that was cute um this summertime mini mouse biker short outfit i love the sleeves on this marked down to six dollars so we got that really really cute um and mini is on the back and no mickey's on the back mini's on the front i got her this three-piece outfit you guys know i love those um and this is good for like the springtime when you don't need a coat but you need a little bit of extra layer or whatever in the evening time it's cool this was marked down to four dollars so I grabbed that and then also for Marshalls, I grabbed Baby Girl these shoes for the spring and summer months. I got them in a size 7. They were marked down to $6. This is the Tommy Bahama brand. Um, we're going to a cabin next week for my dad's 60th birthday. So I grabbed these snow boots for her because she didn't have any. I got them in a size 7, which is a little big, but um, I'm going to put some thick socks on her. And they were only $10 marked down. So really cute. And these will go over her pants. So that's really good. I got her those. And then I grabbed her a few things from the Marshall sale as well. So um, for next winter, I bought her a 3T. This really cute sequin Minnie Mouse two-piece outfit with the really soft sweater was marked down to $6. And then this one she can kind of wear now because it's 24 months. And she is leaving the 18-month size like next week, y'all, and going into 24 months. She's so tall. So I got this coverall. This is really cute for daycare or just running out shopping with mommy. Marked down to $4. Grabbed her that. Um, these two pajama sets are going to be for next Thanksgiving. I got them in a 3T. They were marked down, both of them, to $3.50. This one says, I'm so very thankful with the matching pants. And then this one was also $3.50, and it says, thankful for my family. So she can wear those the day before Thanksgiving and wake up in one of them and then wear one the night of Thanksgiving and go to bed in one of them. This um, pajama set by Carter's was marked down at $2 and she can wear this now because it is not Christmas to me. It's just the, you know, buffalo check 
with the red trim really cute and you guys know carter's is a good brand and then they also had this champion windbreaker for the springtime and even the cashier was like who told them to mark down the spring and summer stuff ma'am i don't know but put it in my cart okay this was marked down to eight dollars and i just loved it this is a pullover it's really really cute um and i got this in a 2t so she can fit that in the springtime big old baby girl right there leaving the room um and then i popped over into ross as well and burlington from burlington my sister said that callie needed some socks so i got her this 20 pack of socks really cute designs 12 to 24 months and it was only 7.99 at burlington so i grabbed that and then i popped over into ross to get her some more stuff um I got her this um, Puma track jacket with the matching leggings. This was marked down to $8.99. I did get her this really pretty purple Adidas tracksuit because y'all know I'll put a baby in a tracksuit in a minute. This was full price at $19.99, so I grabbed that. Um, I got her this two-piece Minnie Mouse a biker short outfit for the summertime or spring. Well, pretty much summertime, $7.99. They had these really cute... Um, jumpsuits for the spring and summer two for $7.99 so I got her both of these and you just pop on some sandals with that really cute got her this um, two-piece puma outfit with the matching leggings this was marked down to $5.49 um, it's short sleeve so it'll be cool for the springtime or the summertime and then it's the really soft um, leggings as well so that's good and then I also got her this two pack of rompers for the summertime put on some sandals she's good to go this two pack was $7.99 mm, $6.99 actually at Marsh no at um, Ross so I went to Ross Marshalls in Burlington so I say that to say if you guys are searching for your little one right now they're having a major clearance event event at Marshalls so go there but Ross also has some good finds I wasn't near a TJ Maxx this may be when they're doing their um, markdowns as well so you may want to check them out but definitely check out Marshalls so I'm about to bag all this stuff up for my niece and put this one in the tub and we're going to get ready to go to the birthday party bye say bye bye <laughs> okay hey y'all it's still saturday um ronnie is putting baby girl in the tub because we are late to the birthday party but i wanted to show you that i ordered this from the disney um store.com or shop disney.com a couple of weeks ago it took a while to come in but it's a sweater um skirt outfit it runs big um it came in at the smallest size was a size two so i went ahead and grabbed it for her for next year just because um it runs big so i figured she could wear it next year i think this would be really cute with some tights and some riding boots or something like that and i love that the mickey or mini was metallic gold right there this was originally let's see if you can see that $42.99 i got it for 20 bucks um and it's made really well it's just it runs big so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in her closet um this is a pile of clothes that i just washed and honestly a lot of it is now too small which i didn't realize so i have to go through and let her try on some of that stuff i just packed her bag for nana's house um because she's going to nana's house um and then i'm going to start packing her bags this weekend for the cabin i haven't decided if i'm gonna take one of these small ones i probably will because it's only going to be for two nights so i'll probably just take a small one or her bigger um pink one but this is all she's been over here in her books but this is all the stuff she got for her birthday i still have to go through and deal with all of that but yeah she is um in the tub now getting dressed and i don't know if i'm gonna let her wear these or let me show you guys what she's wearing to the birthday party and I also grabbed one of these from Dollar Tree. I always like to grab a new toothbrush whenever we travel um, just, just so I can throw it away. And I like this one because it has the suction so it won't like you don't lean it on the sink or anything. It just stands straight up. So I oftentimes get her those when we are going to travel. Um, but I had took out for her to wear this to the birthday party. This is her current toothbrush and toothpaste. I need to put that in a bag. This is her onesie, and I was going to let her wear these sparkle combat boots with this outfit. Um, it's 18 months, so she should be able to fit it. It's from Marshalls. It was $12.99. It's really cute. I don't know that she, she's going to wear the headband, though. Um, but I was thinking about it. But then I forgot she had these gold shoes, too, which are really cute. So I don't know. I may let her wear those instead. can't decide you guys I don't know. I, of course i like the sparkly ones too but i feel like she never wears gold so i may let her wear these ones actually
Okay guys, so we just arrived at the party. I see they did some of some more stuff today and last night. So we're going into Alice in Wonderland land. Okay. Ooh. Uh no, we didn't do all of this. They did some of it. We didn't do all of this last night, only some of it. Okay. I see cookies and a key and a drink dispenser. We got some cards. And this little area with the trees. Again, y'all, I've never seen the movie. Hello. This is cute. And this is for the little kids. I don't know, but she got some down here on the floor. No, I had to put those on the floor because the cards would stay full. This is cute. The mushrooms. Cute, cute, cute. happy sunday today is january the 16th it is 125 we just got back home we had to make a costco run because we are supposed to get snow like now basically any minute now so we're back home ronnie's watching the cowboys game but we did go to a place to get some ribs i love these ribs ronnie's dad always usually goes and gets them for us but this time we went it's called johnny boys if you know you know it's in capitol heights maryland so ladies if you go yourself take somebody with you because the area is definitely sketch um but they are so good oh my goodness these ribs are so good so we got two slabs of ribs we ronnie and i have pretty much put a dent in the first slab already baby girl is at nana's house for the weekend so i'm about to clean up her toy so we don't have to look at this for the next two days and then i think um i'm going to start going through my closet to get stuff um together to donate because i just have way too much stuff in my closet and then i need to do laundry and then at some point i'm going to start taking down the triplet tree trees because you guys it's time so i'm gonna get some footage of that for a sponsor post that i have coming up but i think that's what's going to happen i'm also going to be resting in between i've been binge watching yellowstone if you guys watch that show um let me know in the comments it is so so good um and so we've been binge watching it i think i'm like just starting season three but i may be at the end of season two i'm not sure but it's really really good um so that's the plan for today and yeah i'm gonna get this cleaned up because baby girl doesn't clean it <laughs> 
And you guys, I also wanted to show you guys, I show Instagram, but I haven't shown you guys. Bath and Body Works had these things after Christmas on clearance for like dirt cheap, like $7. So I got the gravy boat set. It comes with two. They were like $7.50. I got the two serving bowl sets. Um, pretty nice size serving bowls and they do match just like the scallop print on there um, I ordered two sets of those but one of them arrived damaged and then the replacement arrived damaged so now they're sending me another replacement I haven't gotten that yet but you can see that the damaged one is here the other, other damaged one is there and then this one um, is the platter that matches it let me see if I can take it out for you guys. It's really big. It's um, 21 inches, but it's the matching platter. And this was, I think, $9. Um, and all this stuff is still available. So if you guys are interested, you can still, still get it. Hold on. Um, my original intent for getting this, I was going to get two, but I only got one, was I wanted to display it on one of the bottom shelves, but it's actually um, too wide for the depth of the shelf, so I'm going to have to put it somewhere else. Um, but I now have a formal platter for turkeys um, for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, I have plenty of platters, but I don't have a porcelain one, and now it matches the gravy boats, and I'm going to have four of the serving bowls that match as well for like sides and stuff once my replacements come Fingers crossed that they're not broken as well. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Okay guys, so baby girl is at Nana's house for the weekend. It's a snow day here. I've rested. It's about 5.45 in the afternoon and it's time for me to tackle a project. I am embarrassed to say that this is my master closet right now. I can't even walk in here. I have stuff everywhere. This stuff over here is clean. It's just items that I was going to pack for vacations and they just never made it into the suitcase or they didn't make the cut. I just threw everything in here. There's sandals and stuff under there. Shoes that I was going to wear for our holiday photo shoot. Y'all, this bag is from like our matching Christmas pajamas. Apparently, I went to Zara and did some shopping. This stuff is still in the bags. I did some shopping at Fashion Nova. These are brand new Nike Air Force Ones that Ronnie bought me this summer. I never wore them. They're there. The TJ Maxx bag was a velour sweatsuit that I wore to my niece's birthday party yesterday because I found it in the bag here. I have some knee-high boots that I've been wearing. Just like so much stuff and i was forced to go buy more hangers because as i do laundry there's nowhere for me to hang the stuff up because all my hangers are taken so i need to go through and give some stuff away like i have two new pairs of uggs that i bought like three years ago i've never even worn them they're brand new i'm not getting rid of them but they're brand new i have some timberland boots brand new i got those years ago and probably have only worn them twice they're brand new like you guys know i have uggs up there i have another pair in our room it's just so much stuff and then this is my professional area where i keep all of my skirts and my slacks and just my work pants and then my suits and my tops up here there are brand new items that i purchased for work when ann taylor um loft was having a huge sale after i had baby girl thinking i was going to go back to work and i didn't so my sister came over here and like raided this area of my closet when she started her new job but i still kept some stuff for myself so there's new stuff in the bag still up under there i just need to get this stuff together so i'm about to go get a huge trash bag and donate to goodwill because this is ridiculous um that's all maternity clothes there and i don't want to part with them just in case but i'm two seconds away from parting with them because i'm tired of looking at that and i need the floor space for more shoes and stuff so i'm about to go through this um sort out my dirty clothes so that i can wash those tomorrow and then get in here and really like donate some stuff because if i have not worn it in two years i need to get rid of it like ridiculous the good thing is a lot of my shoes I wear like I don't wear them that often because I haven't been going into the office but I do wear them when I go into the office professionally so that's good but I still need to get rid of a ton of clothes like a ton of clothes I've had these leggings up here and I don't like to get rid of like leggings and stuff because they're so like you can wear them at all times but I mean I have not worn these leggings in however long I got them on clearance at Target years ago probably like five or six years ago and I just I don't wear them so I need to get rid of them like I got new pants that I purchased uh, recently that 
they fit they're just not comfortable but i'm working on losing weight so i don't want to get rid of those but like these jeans right here i haven't worn in years they can go um some of these can definitely go these gray ones these white ones i've never worn those can go it's just so much stuff those are all my jean shorts up there um i just i don't i don't need all of this stuff some of these hats do not fit they're brand new i need to get rid of them um and just a lot of stuff like i need to just declutter and get rid of some stuff so that's what i'm about to work on now ronnie is doing his laundry and watching the cowboys game so while he's doing that look at this clothes that i purchased from forever 21 brand new for the winter time i would never know that i have them because they're underneath stuff you know so i need to just go through organize and get rid of a lot of stuff so i'm about to do that now and i'll show you guys the after once I'm done. I did have a chandelier put in here from the townhouse that I brought with me. Um, so it's going to look really nice in here once I get it organized. The perfect solution would be to have a bigger closet, but I don't have a bigger closet. So I need to work with the space that I have. So I'm going to organize, 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 and I'll show you guys the after. Wish me luck. Okay, y'all. So I'm finally finished with my closet. This is all the trash, you guys. Like ridiculous. Two huge bags and then those boxes. And then this is everything that I am donating i usually let my sisters come over and go through it first but i'm trying to get rid of this stuff asap so if they don't come tomorrow it's all going to be donated i mean it's sandals dress shoes boots tap shoes there's uh purses and beach bags everything so many clothes with the tags still on them accessories tons and tons of shoes all of this stuff is going i'm gonna put it in some black trash bags and donate it but let me show you guys the closet and then we're going to do Ronnie's closet next, just in a second. I still have two baskets of laundry to do. Um, and then I still have to vacuum the floor. But you can see the floor. You can step inside now. Like, I did all of this. And I was just telling myself I needed more hangers. Look at all these hangers right here. And all these hangers over here. But anyway, I went through all of my work um, skirts and pants. I went through the suits and um, the tops the short sleeve t-shirt that had quite a few bodysuits brand new still with the tags on them um these are like some i forgot what you call these coveralls or whatever i don't know shawls or something and then some summertime rompers those are my summertime flowy like pants and denim skirts and then i have my shorts up here some sweatpants and stuff some regular pants there he actually sits right here i just moved him and then these are my headphones that I keep in here. Yeah. So this is like my accessories. And then those are all where my leggings go. These are like my two-piece loungewear sets. Like the leggings and tops. And then the joggers and tops. Some denim there. More Uggs. I have some Uggs I never wore down there with Tim's And there's Air Force Ones and stuff back up in there. Um, these are all my dresses that are work appropriate, technically. This is all maternity wear. I'm going to put that in a net... This, Stuff on top is maternity as well. So I'm going to get another bin, fill that up, and then put both bins in the ceiling of the garage once we get that organizer. And that'll open that space up for some more of my sneakers. And then these are all of my gowns, jumpsuits, uh, maxi dresses, regular dresses over here. I went through all of those. And then my sweaters, sweatshirts, sweatsuits, and long sleeve tops here. Of course, my luggage. And there's a couple extra handbags there because that's the only handbag section I have. But you guys, it looks a thousand percent better. This is my robes right here. And so, yeah, it looks really good. Okay, you guys, so one minor update. We did move my jewelry box inside of the closet. I do have to take it to take the drawers to a glass company. Two of them got broke um, when we moved or they, yeah, they were broken when we moved. And I don't like it in the bathroom because baby girl keeps going in there messing with them. And of course she goes through the drawers that are broken, but I like having it in here. I typically use like, put like my everyday makeup and perfumes and stuff on the top um, because it was in the bathroom right next to my vanity. But I am gonna put those away just because it doesn't look neat, but I do use all this stuff. Some of this stuff I got for Christmas and my birthday. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this away, but I love having it in here so that I can close my closet door and she can't get to it. And that gives me more space in the bathroom as well. Okay guys, so we moved along to Ronnie's closet. His closet is way neater than mine. It doesn't look like mine at all ever. But um, while I'm going to Goodwill, we might as well go through his stuff too. So this is the before and let's get to the after. Okay y'all, so this is how far we got with Ronnie's closet. He doesn't want to part with anything. He is worse than a woman, literally. This is 
the sad pile that I got and that's only from going through that shelf right there in this small section behind the door he wouldn't let me near his shoes at all and we didn't do any of the hanging because he said he just doesn't feel like it we didn't go up there but the thing that drives me crazy about his closet is he would have like these two-piece sets that he wears on vacation the shirts would be hung up here and the shorts would be like in a random pile scattered like here or down here i'm like why don't you keep the sets together so i just went through and added all the shorts with these uh matching tops there but he's quitting he said he doesn't feel like doing it anymore so that's as far as we can get with his but his was already way neater than mine but i'm just trying to encourage him to go through and get rid of stuff because he does not wear all of this stuff and he swears he's either going to lose weight and get into it or we don't go anywhere for him to wear it and as soon as we do he's going to wear it so boo hey y'all so it is monday martin luther king um the martin luther king holiday and i wanted to come here and show you guys the rest of the um valentine's day stuff that i grabbed um and then also the stuff that i grabbed for baby girl's party at school um so i went into walmart because i needed a tablecloth for here i'm not sure if i'm gonna decorate the table in her room or you know bring a table down here in the kitchen area but i needed a disposable tablecloth this one was 98 cents i also picked up some disposable dinnerware just for us to eat off that day um, and be festive it says happy valentine's day this was 98 cents for um, each piece and you get 10 in a pack also got her these plates that she can eat off of and these are reusable they also have red and blue if you have a little boy these were 98 cents as well i don't think you can put them in a dishwasher um but don't quote me on that also i needed to pick up i finally found the 24 month um short sleeve onesies for going into the springtime yes i do still put a, a onesie on under her clothes so i needed those i grabbed those um and then she exchanges um the valentines with her school so she loves ring pop so i got her the ring pop ones to exchange and then i also thought it would be cute for her to just make little favor baggies for the kids um for their uh, holiday party so i grabbed this bag of 12 um or this pack of 12 bags they were 198 from um walmart and they already have the to and from so i can write the kids names on them um i bought this pack of spiral notebooks um for 198 it comes with eight in a pack and there's only eight toddlers including ray so seven is all i really needed technically but eight and to include ray and then these um valentine's day themed crayon boxes with crayons in them they were 198 and it comes with 12 of those I got them light up bracelets. I thought these were cute to put in the bags. I got the boys the red ones and the girls a mix between the purple and pink. And then I also got them these big pens that they can, you know, write in the spiral book. I thought they were really cute. So um, I grabbed those. And then I also grabbed these heart containers. Maybe I'll fill them with kisses or something to put in there. And then lastly, I got, these are basically the veggie straws, but they're in the shape of a heart. And they are pink and they're the sea salt flavor. So I thought this was cute. It comes with 12 in a pack. So that's enough for the kids at daycare. From the Target Dollar Spot, I bought this um, bath fizzer to throw in her bath maybe for Valentine's Day. She's going to wear this sweater from the Target Dollar Spot. Not from the Target Dollar Spot, from the Cat and Jack collection at Target. It was um, $10, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I got her a 2T, which is probably going to be kind of big, but it's okay. Um, I didn't see anything in like 24 months there. I don't think Target carries 24 months. But anyway, um, I got these two um, dish towels to put on my double wall ovens. Um, I like to change them out with the different seasons and holidays. And then I got this Be Mine pillow to help decorate at home wherever I decorate for baby girl. It was $5 from the Target dollar spot. They did have some of these that did not have any words on them. And they were like $15 in the regular pillow section. So go to the Target dollar spot section and get that. Moving along to the stuff for the daycare party, you guys. They are having lunch on charcuterie boards. So I grabbed eight charcuterie boards. They were $5 each from the Target dollar spot. From Walmart, I brought um, two small bowls. They were 98 cents each. Two large bowls. These were $148. And then two platters um, for 98 cents each for whatever we decide to put on them. I bought two bags of the chocolate kisses in pink and red and silver. And then this glass jar came from the Target dollar spot with hearts on it. It was $5. I also got some color changing straws. Now I showed you the ones from Dollar Tree that are purchased for at home um, for baby girl, but they had the color changing ones at Walmart. So I grabbed these for her class party. They were $1.98 and you get eight in a pack. I also grabbed the activity table cup cloth um just in case there's downtime at the party the kids can color on it this was 198 and then i grabbed two plastic tablecloths that match the um disposable dinnerware 
um, just in case they need plates or the adults need plates or something like that at daycare. Also, I grabbed these cups for the adults. And then the kids will be drinking out of these heart-shaped um, cups with straws. They light up once you push the bottom of them. Really cute. They were $1.98. I did have to go to two Walmarts to find them all, um, but I did find all eight of them, so I'm really excited. I think the kids are going to get a kick out of those. I grabbed a pack of um, Valentine's Day assorted cutlery. That was $0.98. Cents. It's just play, um, forks and spoons in this one. And then all the kids are going to exchange their Valentine's Day um, cards um, and candy in these mailboxes. I'm going to use my Cricut machine to personalize them. I did get... Um, 10 mailboxes I believe so um, I only have two here but I, I have 10 of them and then for the deco decor and stuff for around the room I got this love balloon that was 98 cents we can put that on the wall I got two of these honeycomb heart shapes that you can hang from the ceiling those were 98 cents I got a happy valentine's day felt banner for 228 I thought that was cute uh, a valentine's day um, decorating kit we can put this in like a doorway this was 278 I got some valentine's day confetti in hot pink red and regular pink to scatter on the tables. Um, we got two glitter center pieces because the kids usually sit at two um, tables since it's eight toddlers. Um, these were 98 cents, so I thought that would be cute to put in the center. I got these to hang from the ceiling. These are heart danglers and it comes with three in each pack for 98 cents, so I got two of those. And then lastly, I got the kids these crazy um, headband, head bopper things. They were 98 cents, so I got a mix between hot pink and then the uh, red as well. So. That's everything I got for her party so far. And then the last bit of stuff I needed to pick up for our house as well. And you guys, the last thing I picked up today while I was in the grocery store were these Little Debbie Be My Valentine's Day snack cakes. They are twin wrapped, so you have to unwrap them and they'll be two, it's two in a pack. But each kid only needs one. So I thought these would be cute to add to their charcuterie board for the dessert portion of their lunch. Um, and then I may take one out, like one um, twin pack and leave it at home so that um, I can decorate with it, you know, at home and she'll have something here but I'm not sure but anyway these were only two dollars and twenty cents from the grocery store so I thought these were really cute and we don't have to do any baking they're already really cute and in the color scheme so you know cheat when you can you guys 